All right, there's one thing I want to go over before we uh, get started here. I've made a new class, the uh, AABB class. This is an axis aligned bounding box, and it's specified by just two vectors, one minimum vector and one maximum vector, which you can think of as like the lower left vector and the upper right vector. So we're going to use that while we do our intersection test. Here it is right here. And we're also passed in a, a beginning vector, an ending vector, and an intersection vector, which will be uh, where we're going to, this is an output uh, field, and we're going to put the end result, the intersection, obviously, right in that field. And also, if, if you see here, there's also a fraction. We got to fill out that fraction value, too. So let's get started. Uh, Let's just start like this, clip line. So we're gonna clip, we wanna clip all three dimensions of these boxes. Uh, and the first argument that it wants is D. D is the dimension, and I'm just gonna use zero for X, one for Y, and two for Z. So I'm gonna start with zero, and then I'm gonna pass in the box and the vectors that we're gonna do, and the F low, and f pi values which have been initialized here to 0 and 1 the start and end of our line we're not actually clipping we're not actually making a new line segment what we're doing is we're just keeping track of the minimum and maximum f values and that is where we've clipped our line to so we're doing all the math with that now if the clip line fails if it if it returns false then we have missed the box entirely, so we're also going to return false, the intersection failed. And then we're going to do this three times, one for each dimension. 0, 1, 2 is x, y, z. Now, we are almost ready to calculate the intersection. We just need to make a, a b, b1 minus v0. And now we can make the, the intersection. The intersection will be v0 plus b, just like our formula, times f low. f low is our f value from the formula because it's the value that's closest to uh, v0, to where, the, to where the bullet began. And so it's the first thing it's going to hit, so that's what we want. And also i got to fill out this fraction, which will just be, again, v low. Up here we have the clip line function. I went over this in the math part of the video. I'm not gonna walk you through this one. Again, the source code is on GitHub. You can download it and check it out and walk through it if you want to see how it works. Uh, but I think if you watch the previous video then you understand the concept here. So it shouldn't be too hard to figure out that code. I'll leave it to you. Now here is the main file. And this is the mouse input function. So this is what called this is what gets called when the when the player presses the left mouse button. And all I do is I make two positions, one where the bullet's going to start and one where the bullet's going to end. And the bullet starts at the position of the player, plus uh, up a little bit so that we're not shooting from the feet, we're shooting from the chest or from the eyeballs. And then the bullet ends. Uh, I add the view vector times 100 to make the bullet go really far away, basically in the forward direction. Now we run a trace line between those two points and we get the intersection. If the trace line returns true, that means it hits something. And so I call make puff and make bullet tracer. These are just two more functions that I wrote. Uh, they I mean, they do exactly what they sound like. They make a puff, they make a bullet tracer, just so that we can see. And again, I'm not going to go over these. You can download the code and check out how they work if you like. And so let's thumb down to the trace line function to see how this works. We have to run our intersection test against every object in the world. And right now I have three, so I run it three times. One, two, three. And each time I run it, I keep track of what the lowest fraction number was. That is, what is the nearest object to 
where I fired the bullet because that's what I'm going to hit first and that's what we want the intersection point for. So we keep track of the lowest fraction and then at the end of the function if the fraction is below a 1, in other words if, if it hits something then we'll return true. So I think that's it. We should be able to go into the game now and see how it works. Here we are in the game. I changed the camera a little bit so that we're above the guy and and uh, to the right so we can see where the bullet goes and I made these boxes bigger so that you can hit them and as you can see I'm not hitting anything because I'm not firing at the boxes but then if I start firing at the boxes we get the puff that red thing is the puff there we go it, and notice how we only hit the front box it doesn't go through to the back box because we keep if I, if I go over here too this is a well designed algorithm it only hits the box right in front of you I know that sounds silly but uh, bugs do, like that do happen where we'll hit the box behind you and let's just check the edge here to make sure yep it's pretty precise if I move left just a little bit it hits if I move back right yep this intersection function looks like it's working great so now we can fire some bullets all we need is like a pew pew sound effect uh, that's it for now. Join me next time. Haven't decided what we'll be working on, but I guarantee it'll be cool. See you later.